Well, Storm Care is still going. Apparently it's going to last several days. And um, <laughs> I don't know how Serena looks in the camera. <laughs> it doesn't feel it. It's as windy as hell out here. We've just had um, the RNLI um, community officer on board. Uh, now, uh, what they do is they have just shown us how to um, do a life jacket service. Um, look for where you can see on this one. Um, we, we've still got um, the fabric still in, in good nick but you can see that it's starting to wear just because um you know it's a different color and then he was showing us how to look at our canisters and when he did our canister it was actually loose but the main thing he advised us to do every year was to blow it up and that's what i'm going to do now this is the uh, blow up tube and uh, with our life jacket you've got um, this little cap um, you take it off to blow it up but after you've blown it up you can actually just use the other end of the cap and that will actually um, release all the air so you need to once you've blown up your uh, life jacket you need to leave it for 24 hours and that will just check if you've got any leaks or um, holes and stuff. Now my understanding is you're supposed to use um, sanitized dried air and all the rest of it so you don't get any moisture inside the bladder but there seems to be a big shortage of that aboard most yachts. There is. Um, so the newer life jackets are actually being organised so that you can blow them up and um, and the big concern is moisture from your breath is it it is moisture from your breath uh, but unfortunately i like 999 other of us don't have sanitized air <laughs> so i'm just gonna have to blow it up with my breath do we not have a copious supply of hot air on this boat yeah but that's only because we gas a lot <laughs> about seeing your life jacket in um, blown up is um, we saw one couple on YouTube saying put your life jacket underneath your coat you've got to be kidding me put this under my coat that is just going to be a, a complete hazard you know, that's what your life jacket looks like when it's blown up. So, you know, you've got to think about that and there's no coat on the world. So you've always got to make Actually, sure... Actually, if you had a coat on that, I could imagine it would squeeze your neck rather badly. <sighs> it would be dreadful. But, um, so always make sure that your life jacket is the last thing that you put on. Coats, put them on first, put your salopettes on, then your life jacket. But try and put that under a coat you must be joking right you've got to leave that for a few hours and to make sure it doesn't go down uh 24 hours is what the uh, rnli guy advised it's bad when you have to gimbal your stove in the marina I mean say so, you know it's because uh, we're moving from side to side quite a bit but I Beverly's got the worst job Why 
you like a drip? Am I like a drowned rat? Yeah, you look like a drowned rat. I'm outside for 30 seconds. <laughs> Uh, the rain's coming sideways outside, it's terrible out there. Um, we're facing the right way, we're facing straight into the wind here. We turned the boat the other day and we're very, very glad we did. The boats that are down that way in the pontoons, they're a master literally over like that practically all the time. And they just go from that to that to that to that. <laughs> it's blown a hoolie. I've reset a couple of the fenders um, just to position them better. And I've taken up a bit of slack in some lines just to stop the boat moving around quite as much. She's still free to move in her ropes, which is better than having her rubbing like mad. But you don't want her moving too much. You don't want her swinging wildly and then putting a lot of strain on the ropes. So you want know, to be able to move a bit. And then the rope, the nylon ropes, they feel that. They bring her to a halt. They stretch 10%, bring her to a gentle halt, and they pull her back in again like big rubber bands. And that's why we have nylons on board. You know, whereas the polyester lines, they just go along, they bring it a halt, snap like that, and the whole boat shudders when they do it, and it's horrible. The nylons are much nicer, so we always say that when it's bad weather coming, Salty Lass puts her nylons on, because every girl loves her nylons. Certainly does. And this one definitely does. <laughs> so, um, when it's like this, Beverly's got her computer out. Um, somewhere over there is my computer. But we've got our duvets out and when we come in we just hunker down and get on with some computer work. Is it getting so bad in here you having to wear your hat indoors? Yeah. <coughs> yes it is. It's um we've got hailstones out there. At least we think it's hailstones, we haven't actually looked. No, um and um we're definitely leaning towards me. Alright, so it's been not quite 24 hours, but it's what we're going to use. It's been like 16 or 17. And uh, my life jacket has been inflated for its inflation test and it's still up, which is good news. Now, the gas bottle fits into this fitting here and uh, the fitting has a date on it, which you can see just here. Uh, the, date, the bottle also has a date on it, which we will show you shortly. Uh, there seems to be on the net quite a bit of controversy about exactly when do you replace a gas bottle? Some people go by this date here on the fitting, down here. Uh, other people look at the date on here and add five years to it. And other people look at the weight of the bottle and weigh it. So you pick what you pick, um, what works for you. But we're going to weigh it today, aren't we, Bev? We're going to weigh it today. Now, it says on the bottle, put, well, I put my glasses on so you can see what I'm doing. It says on the bottle, just... There, it's engraved in, and um, it doesn't really show very well in camera, but it says 136 grams. The date of manufacture is 0517. If you're going by the five-year rule, this gets replaced in May 2022. If you're going by the date on the firing cylinder, it gets replaced in May 2021. And if you go by the weighing rule, it gets replaced when it stops weighing 136 grams. Now, that would obviously leave three or four grams either side of that sort of thing. So if it got less than 130, it's definitely time for the bin. So let's weigh it and see what it's like. That one in the middle. Yay, one, 136 three, grams. That's perfect, Bev. Yours is definitely good to go. Yeah. And then and it goes. And then just do it down. Hold the unit. Careful not to make it far. And then just give it one last hand turn. Not yeah. too tight. You don't want it too tight, but it's got to be tight enough to stay in. Yeah. This, by the way, is your manual firer, so make sure that this is always hanging out of your life jacket. It Pull that. If the hydrostatics don't work, you pull this. Psh, off it goes. Yeah. Right. Why am I out here? Why am I out here in this freezing weather with wind and things like that? Well, the answer is quite straightforward, really. Um, <laughs> I need to put some water in the boat or we won't have any. Uh, both water tanks are well down, but the rear water tank is this one here, and it's the easiest one to fill because the water point is just there. So one of the things we usually 
hard when we're doing this is we put in aqua purifying tablets. On this tablet, we'll do 250 litres of water. Now, our rear tank only holds 150, so I just generally split this in half, put it in, and let it mix, and it sterilises the water. later and I'm really glad to see that um, um, uh, my life jacket is up uh, but while I've been having a, an inspection of the life jacket although I can see that ours has got a whistle I've noticed that ours don't have lights it certainly doesn't have a hood um, and these are uh, features that um, I think I might like um, to have in the future. I love prezzies! The only problem with these prezzies is I have to pay for them first. <laughs> but technically it is a present because Bev and I decided that this is what we would buy for Christmas. Now I know Christmas is like X weeks ago. Do you need help with that? No. You sure? Look, I'm enjoying myself far too much for help. The minute it's beginning to look like bubble wrap one gainer nil. <laughs> it is going. This is mine. How can you tell? It's... I'll show you. Oops, too daisy. Oh, it's got a zip, actually. Oh, dear but. God. Do you know how to operate this? Do you have a license? <laughs> I've got my competent crew. Yeah. Got my day skipper. Oh, look at that. Mm. Nice and red. But um, uh, we decided that we'd be going for these because we'll be looking at them in a minute because they've got some really good features. Let's go see what it looks like. <laughs> and is that to be shared between the two of us? No, no, no. You've got one as well. Just asking for a friend, you understand? <laughs> no. This is uh, Beverly's. This is Bev's. But... Um, because uh, this is uh, blue, uh, when we look in the cupboard, we'll easily be able to recognise blue one for Bev, red one for Gainer. Because they'll be adjusted to fit each person. Yeah, because what we have at the moment is we just have, um, we've just written them, you know, Gainer and Beverly on our current life jackets. But unless, you, you know, you've got to look. And I'm afraid to say my eyesight is going really downhill. <laughs> so I have to get my glasses out just to read my label. <laughs> Whereas now I should be able to recognise it without. I didn't think your eyesight was that bad. You seem to have no problem with labels on wine bottles. Oh, <laughs> that's only because I do like my red wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't got it inflated yet, but uh, it actually does come with a whistle. Um, so that's good. Um, the in point for inflation, lots of nice um, reflective straps, well, reflective parts so that you can see them in the dark. Um, these lights will come on automatically. Yeah, and then right in the back, get it sussed. She's quite too sure exactly how this is all going. So she's been floating in the ocean for 20 minutes now. <laughs> yeah, but that's 
why I'm doing it I'm doing it now because one thing you find is that um, if you don't know how to put your life jacket on you could be faffing about and doing all sorts of stuff when you need to be saving your life well maybe if we inflate it it would work differently maybe it would sit differently if it was inflated yeah okay so i'll inflate it and just see how it all goes okay <laughs> how are we doing captain chaos <laughs> I certainly do need the uh, special, um, what did you call me last in that last vlog? Isolated danger mark. Isolated danger mark, yeah, definitely need one of those. I will suss out this, uh... <laughs> I will suss this out, honest. It's an invading alien from outer space, or it's Captain Chaos. It's one of the two. I'm not sure which you'd prefer, actually, but there you go. <laughs> I do have a, uh, uh, a manual inflation thing that's right in front of my face, but realistically, this is now exactly where I need it for my mouth. Yeah. To do, you know, if I need to manually inflate. Not convinced we've got the spray hood right yet. Not com completely convinced, but uh, it's looking a lot better. Yeah, it would at least keep some spray off you. Yeah, um, and you just need to be able to just keep it out of your mouth. I mean, at the end of the day, we can't put you in a plastic bag because... Well, I do need to breathe. There is that minor point. Hi, in God's name, are you going to put a jacket on wearing that? I'm not. I'm going to just show something. Because somebody suggested that you can put life jackets under your clothes. I think we disposed of that one at the Sea Survival. Ah. Oh, it's just come undone. There's a... Oh, there was a little bit of Velcro holding it or something. Yeah, there was a little bit of Velcro. That's all that looks a lot better fit. Uh, the good thing about taking our, our very brand new life jackets, um, wearing them initially, is because I've found this Velcro here, which um, keeps the hood in place. But I really needed to, um, you know, break that so that it fitted over my head properly. Um, again, you know, you just got to learn about your life jacket and that's what we're doing here is learning about ours because uh, um, when I'm in a panic, I haven't got time to do any of the learning. <laughs> I need to know.